morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, five. How do you do? Good morning, guys. I hope everybody's feeling excellent. Good. I hope you're feeling great. Uh, let's go into our morning circle time. So, what month are we in? We are in the month of June. J U N E spells June. All right. And what day of the week is it? Let's see. So yesterday was Thursday the 4th. If yesterday was Thursday the 4th, what is today? Today is Friday. What do we do on Fridays? A Friday dance. Do a Friday dance. Do a Friday dance. Do a Friday dance. And why do we get happy on Fridays? Because tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday and they are the weekends. And do we come to this, do school work on the weekends? Nope. We are off on the weekends. So today is Friday. All right. What number is today though? Uh, yes, today was four. So today must be, hmm, and we have tomorrow's number. So we have yesterday was four and tomorrow will be six. So what number goes in between four and six? Five. Today is Friday, June 5th. It is the fifth day of June. All right, and tomorrow will be Saturday the 6th. Okay, let's go into how many now? Could I do a really easy how many now? Let's see, how many do we see? Three, right? Very easy number. But what if I did this? How many do we have now? Zero. We have no red dots. Zero. So three minus three, three take away three equals zero. We have no more red dots. All right, let's go into our unit. We are talking about this big word here. We are talking about transformation. Let's clap it. Transformation has four sounds, right? Four syllables. So transformation, and transformation is a big word for change, right? How things change. So we talked about a bunch of different types of transportation this week. We talked about how feelings can change, right? We talked about how objects can change, like the string that we wiggled and we made shapes with. We talked about how the weather can change. Some days are rainy, some days are cloudy. Some days are hot, very sunny. Some days are very cold. And so today we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at seasons, right? That's another one of our vocabulary word, seasons. Seasons also change. We talked about seasons at school, but we didn't really talk about seasons now. But we know that we are in the season of spring. And in springtime, what happens? It rains a lot. And the rain, the water from the rain helps the plants to grow, right? So the water from the rain helps the plants to grow. So during the spring, we have a lot, a lot of flowers growing. And we'll see a picture that looks like springtime. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see. Can you see this picture that looks like springtime on this side? So we see rainbows, we see flowers growing, we see the trees are full, right? So that happens in the spring. The next season that's coming soon in June is summer. And what happens in the summer? It gets really, really, really hot because the days are very, very sunny. So it's very warm outside. That's why in the summer, a lot of people like to go to the beach so they can cool off in the water. They play in the sand. So the summer gets really, really, really hot. Let's look at the picture of the summer. So we see the sun shining bright, right? Now the next season, can you guess what season that is? What's happening? 
the leaves are changing colors. So what season is that? That is the fall time. During the fall, the leaves change colors on the tree and then they fall, they get dry, right? And then they fall down on the ground and we love stepping on crunchy dry leaves, right? So in the fall, the leaves change colors and they fall onto the ground. What is the season that we're missing? So far we named three. We said spring, summer, fall, we're missing one season. Do you know which one's next? Let's take a look at the picture, see if you can guess it. It's really, really cold in that season. And we can use the snow to make snowmen and the leaves are completely gone off the tree. That is in winter. In winter, it was very, very, very cold and there was snow everywhere. There was no leaves on the trees because they were all gone from the fall. So in the winter, we know that the trees have no leaves and it's snow everywhere. It's very snowy and very, very cold. So those are our four seasons. We have four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. So we're going to do some activities with the seasons. I'll see you guys next time and have a great week.